My name is Jeffrey. From young, I was a very angry and violent person. Maybe this is because my relationship with my father wasn't very good. I was often beaten by him for poor results in my studies or for misbehaving. In school, I was also not well liked. I was bullied and laughed at for being fat. My teachers also did things like hitting my head with a pencil or slapping me up to 10 times. Even when I did well in my max, I was accused of copying. So, to protect myself, I joined a gang. I started smoking and drink excessively. I tried to scare people by being fierce. But deep in my heart, I wanted others to like me. Because of drugs and housebreaking, I was going in and out of prison. One day, I came to know Tiala, and he invited me to emerge at City Harvest Church. Tiala and his cell group members were very faithful in reaching out to me. They checked up on me often on the phone and came to my house to wake me up to go church. But as a gangster, I still got into fight after fight. Many were violent, involving breaking windows and properties. But after each fight, my zone leader, Ming Jing, would ask me to repent and pray to Jesus, which I did. Yet somehow, I kept getting into trouble. I couldn't keep a steady job, so I worked as a bookie and a runner for loan sharks. I made good money, but I was taking drugs daily for almost three years. Even though I was high, deep inside, I was very depressed. Soon, I ran to Taiwan and joined an illegal gang. I was always on drugs, and I was a very angry man, and my ambitious was to come home to Singapore one day and kill the two people I hated because I blamed them for all the problems in my life. Once, I was locked up in the Taiwan Detention Center. In the prison there, you have to pay for your own food. One officer pitied me and gave me 300 Taiwan dollars. He told me in Chinese, 我只可以帮你那么多, I spent $10 Taiwan dollars to buy white rice only. Then suddenly, I was reminded the Hokkien saying, meaning I would rather die than to eat rice. But here, I was eating white rice. That night, I broke down and cried because I felt so useless. I felt like a total failure. When I opened up my Bible, I saw Job chapter 6, verse 6. Can flavorless food be eaten without salt? Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? When I read this, and I thought of the tasteless white rice that I ate, I cried even more. I couldn't control my tears. The pain was so great, and I know that I deserve all this because I was unfaithful to God. Feeling hopeless and suicidal, I waited for everyone to sleep. I wanted to use a towel to snap my neck. But then, my hands became totally jelly. I felt the presence of God, and I cried even more. In the Taiwan Detention Center, I didn't know when I would be released. One afternoon, an officer called my name and said, Today you are going home to Singapore. When I reached Singapore, I felt an unexpected peace. It was like the Bible says, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Two days later, Spencer from Ming Jing Zone invited me to Easter service. God's love was overflowing in the place. I cried during the drama. It was about a mother-son relationship and I, had, and I had a very bad relationship with my mom. The sermon that day was on hope and at the end of the service, I rededicated my life back to Jesus. This time, as I gave my life fully to God, the Holy Spirit helped me to cut away all vices. I learned to depend on the Lord and it wasn't easy, but God's grace was sufficient for me. Two years later, I went to Bible school and I grew and enjoyed myself in the Word and the Spirit. Today, I have a stable job. I am so thankful that Jesus gave me another chance to live. I am now serving in the Gems Church, helping people in need. When I look back at my life, I really want to give God the glory. If God can change someone like me, God can change anybody.